our service and whatnot. So I like to, on a daily basis as well, guys, use Cisanderberry. Now, Cisanderberry is the only herb in, even though it's a berry, it's considered an herb. It's a tonic herb of Chinese medicine. It is the only constituent in the Chinese medical system that harbors all five flavors. Bitter, salt, salty, sweet, sour, and pungent. And because of that, it feeds the five primary organ systems of traditional Chinese medicine philosophy. It is also one of the only tonics that stimulates and tonifies and balances out and nourishes the three treasures of Chinese healing, which are the Jing, the Qi, and the Shen. Your Jing is basically your primal essence. Your Qi is basically your vitality and your Shen is your connection to higher consciousness, your higher self. This herb is known by the master Taoist Sung Jing Park, the teacher of the famous uh, herbalist, master herbalist Ron Teagarden, the owner of Dragon Herbs. This herb, Suzanderberry, is known by the master Taoist Sung Jing Park to be the quintessence of healing, the quintessence of herbalism, because it is the berry that does it all. It's a supreme mental tonic it produces a mental clarity, a diamond kind of clarity that is absolutely beautiful, and especially in unison with some of the other uh, anti-anxiety protocols that I've talked about in previous videos in the DHA, the docosahexaenoic acid oil in pill form. This stuff is amazing. It has powerful constituents, you guys, that are known as lignins, and this stuff actually helps your body produce your liver produce uh, your body excuse me this helps your body produce glutathione which is a antioxidant that helps prepare the liver it's a very powerful antioxidant so cisandra is a mental tonic it stimulates heavily but it does not seem to raise the blood pressure at all it seems to balance it out um, again the lignin content in this is very powerful there's over 30 of them that have been identified and they have anti-inflammatory properties, uh, anti-anxiety properties. The way that this stimulates your mind is very profound. It kind of allows you to exit your normal way of feeling and you feel so much better where you can kind of stand above your issues and examine them under a new light. This takes continual use to achieve that though. I, I experienced profound benefit on my first dose. If you guys are going to use the um, Cisanderberry, you want to use something like the organic Changbai Mountain Cisandra, the raw herb that it's eco certified and it's got the Ron Tea Garden seal of, pro of approval and it's DDAO certified. It's the best Cisandra on the market, some of it, in my opinion. This was $10. This is a six ounce bag. This will last quite a long time. You don't need much. These are whole berries, you guys. But what I do is I take them, um, I take them and put the whole berries that are rather hard. So you need kind of a, a, a high-speed quality blender. I put them in one of my Ninja blenders and turn it on, and kind of shake the blender lightly for about two minutes and reduce it down to a powder. What this does when you do this is that it allows you to unlock the power of the seed inside the berry and it breaks down the walls of the berry so that when you make tea with this, you literally get, it, it's about 200% more powerful when you make a tea out of crushed berries, powdered, uh, lightly chopped, or semi, excuse me. You get so much more benefit out of the berry when you break it down to a moderate powder. Now my blender won't break it down all the way into a powder, but it's plenty ground up it's basically ground it's not powdered but if you uh, excuse me my nose itches you'll, you'll get about 200% more benefit from making tea like this because there's more surface area and you'll lock more of the essential oils and whatnot it'll leach into the into the tea so uh, taking a teaspoon of the crushed up powdered chopped uh, cisander berry uh, in boiling putting boiling water over that letting it sit for about uh, until it cools down then filter that and drink it. Wow, what a profound mental tonic. In Chinese medicine, or in the Chinese culture, you guys, there is a what's known as the 100 day reset, where when people want to get healthy, they'll take Cisandra every day for 100 days. And if they miss a day, it's culturally proper for them to start completely over. So if you went 60 days on Cisandra and then missed the 61st day, you'd have to start over again. 
And that's actually a beautiful thing because your body just loves Cassandra. So if you mess up, you have to start completely over again. So it's actually kind of a good thing to mess up because if you're uh, 200 days in, or uh, 95 days into this and you mess up and you have to start over again, your body just gets more nourishment. And this is what Master Sung Jing Park recommends people. He, he would tell people that if you want to experience healing, you get on 100 days of uh, Cassandra. It'll help purify the blood in the liver. It appears to, excuse me. Uh, it, it's very good for the skin. My skin is super soft. There's even herbal, uh, I love herbal lore, stories about the power of these herbs. There was a man named, I can't remember his name. If I can remember, I'll put the, his name on the, uh, the screen right now. There was supposedly a man who consumed Cassandra every day for, I believe, 16 years. And he had reached a state of... I believe they called his state of health and enlightenment the Jade Girl. The Jade Girl. It's a phrase for absolute beauty in China. He radiated an aura, basically. His skin was perfect. He was also said to not get wet when he was in water. When he'd get out of the water, he would be dry, and that he couldn't be damaged by the the heat of fire. The sun wouldn't burn him either. So I'm not saying that's true, in any way, shape, or form. However, I love absolutely love 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 reading herbal literature le reading herbal legends and stories and things like that i find it absolutely fascinating there's a lot of mystique around lycium also known as wolfberry which is just the common goji berry uh, about monks who had a well a, a water well and over that well there was a bunch of goji that grew over the well and on occasion the berries would all fall not all of them but a large portion of the berries would fall into the well water and saturate and get plump from the water and leach the beneficial constituents into the well water and these monks would drink the well water and they lived very very long lives goji berry is another skin tonic you guys properly grown goji berry is a profound mental tonic as well it's actually a very famous formula to actually mix mix cassandra berry with goji um Goji is a powerful adaptogen, and so is Cassandra. Sandra, Cassandra is a very powerful adaptogen as well. Adaptogens are things that help us cope with stress, you guys. And most of us are stressed beyond our wildest belief here in this matrix, whether you acknowledge it or not. See, the, the, the mind-body complex has a profound way of suppressing emotions and suppressing negative thoughts where you can be and that alone is an adaptogen our body mind complex has its built-in mental adaptogen emotional adaptogenic qualities where you, you your body and your mind cope with stress on its own but it can reach a delicate tipping point where you're just now notice you're noticing stress you're the stress in your life and it's really bothering you <clears throat> excuse me to mitigate that I recommend, I personally recommend myself, myself looking into the traditional Chinese medicine system and looking at the tonic herbs. There are 26 major tonic herbs in the traditional major er, in the traditional Chinese medicine system. These 26 tonic herbs are known as the superior herbs. They're superior because they're higher than most constituents that are grown on earth in beneficial bioflavonoids, constituents, anti-cancerous properties. They're high in adaptogenic uh, material and they all have a very profound affinity on the three treasures of healing within the Chinese traditional Chinese system of healing they stimulate nourish spring balance and tonify each of the 26 um, tonic herbs they tonify one or two and with Cassandra all three of the um, treasures of healing the the Jing, excuse me, the, the Qi and the Shen, again, Jing is your primal essence, Qi is your vitality, and um, Shen is your connection to source, it's your higher self, it's your connection to the absolute. So these, these herbs in the traditional medicine system of Chinese medicine, excuse me, um, they are very strong not only because of their unique nutritional properties, their calming effects, their adaptogenic qualities that are through the roof compared to other herbs and whatnot but they're very special because these have been meticulously studied analyzed and worked with and documented for 3,000 years and they affect nourish tonify and bring balance to the three treasures of healing and that's why they're so beneficial 
So for people who are interested in 